think what made me want to become a country singer, well, one was the first time I saw the Grand Ole Opry. I was backstage, I saw the curtain go up, and that was the moment that I knew I wanted to be in country music. I think the other moment was really early on. It was listening to country radio, getting to hear voices like the Chicks, Shania, Faith, Martina, Trisha, getting to hear all those voices on country radio made me want to become a country singer. I think my biggest country music influence is probably Dolly Parton. Um, otherwise, I think if not Dolly, I think Keith Whitley was a big influence on me as far as country music goes. The first song I ever performed live was a cover. It was the song Three Wooden Crosses by Randy Travis. The song I get most excited to perform off my deluxe album, Living the Dream, is probably How Far Can It Go? It's just so fun, and um, I just love the energy behind that one. I can't wait to get to play it live. The inspiration behind featuring all of these artists on the deluxe was really just a way to tell the story and to show fans what it means to me to be living the dream. I mean, all of these artists had a hand in me being able to make that record the dream and being able to tour and uh, hang up the apron strings and do music full time. And I wanted to show fans you know, this record started for me at Tenure Town being a broken-hearted waitress. Uh, and you can kind of see my journey over the last two years throughout the record and throughout, um, you know, just what's happened. Getting to cross off a lot of bucket list moments that I didn't know if I'd get to do. And so I really just wanted to show fans with these songs and with this project, like, this is where I started and this is where it's going and I'm just really grateful for the fans, um, the response and the love on the record, The Dream. It's just made all of these dreams possible for me and all of these collaborations wouldn't have happened without the response to The Dream. So I owe a huge thank you to the fans for this. My go-to snack is string cheese and flaming hot Cheetos. Health nut. Instagram accounts that I'm digging. Uh, Lost in History is a really good one. There's one I like, I think it's a visual artist. Um, her account is called Indigo. The O is a zero, not an O. And Elliot Homestead. I like to watch the goats and the sheep and the pigs and just watch her be a homesteader. My at-home attire, especially during the pandemic, is full-on jumpsuit, sweatpants all the time. My go-to song to listen to right now is My Friend Lady Wilson, Things a Man Ought to Know. I just love that song. The first thing I'm gonna do once this pandemic is over is hopefully play a show, also hopefully get sloppy drunk at a great dive bar surrounded by my best friends. It's one part happy.